guys, in this video I wanted to have a go at making a little valentines -y themed cake. So it's just a little cute car with some pandas in and I've made a bright pink cake. It's just a Victoria sponge this one and it's a 7 inch cake and I've just got a round little cake card 7 inch that I've just cut either side off and I'm going to cut my cake to the same size as my cake card. And I'm going to buttercream in between all my layers of cake. I'm going to stick my first layer onto my cake card and then I'm going to start adding my cake to that cake card and layering it up and I'm just using a bit of buttercream between each layer. I've put four layers of cake in mine so my cake comes to about four inches tall altogether and I'm just going to carve just a little bit of cake off either side. Try not to take too much off and then would we'll curve either end as well. So the cake's slightly narrower at the top than it is at the bottom all the way around and I'm going to use a white chocolate ganache now to put a thin layer all over my cake. So smooth it off the best you can. You can use buttercream if you prefer um, I just like ganache because it sets a little bit firmer. So whilst that's setting, I'm going to ice a cake drum. I thought I'd go for a, a nice flower shaped cake drum for this one. And I'm just going to cover it in green fondant. Now I'll put links in the description box below the video to all the different things that I've used in this video. So I've just laid my fondant onto the board. I'm just using a cake smoother to thin the edges all the way around the board so that I can take that excess off. I'm just thinning the edge with the cake smoother to tear it off. So I've rolled this bit of spare green out, I'm adding some Tylos powder just to make it a little bit firmer. I've left it quite thick and our car cake is going to balance on this. So it needs to be cut to a rectangle that's just a little bit smaller than our actual cake. And we're just going to stick that to the board. I've just used a little bit of water. And we're going to use some pink fondant. So I've got the Renshaw's Extra that I'm using for this one. I've used two packets. Roll it out big enough that it goes over your cake and I'm just going to gently press that on and smooth it down with my fingers on my hands and then I'm just going to cut all the way around the bottom edge. Now I've got piping gel now that I'm just going to put on top of this piece of green fondant and then we're going to carefully pop our iced cake onto there. Then we can finish doing more details on that now it's in place. And I'm going to try and cover that bottom edge a little bit to neaten it up later on. So I'm starting with some white fondant, it's just fondant that I've got here. So I've started with a little sausage shape and I've rolled it to try and get it fatter at one side, thinner at the other. This is going to be the folded down roof of our little cartoony car. So my next bit again, I've got a little sausage shape, much thinner this time than the last one. And then I've just cut it so it comes down to a point at either end. And I'm just going to put it along the edge of that other one. And I'll just do the same again with another one. It's so exactly the same, but this time I've put it on the bottom. So we end up with three creases like that. And I'm just going to position that near the back of my car. Now if it doesn't stick on its own you can add a little bit of water under there or even piping gel and make sure your work surface is nice and clean. Um, I got a tiny speck of black fondant that I was using earlier in that piece. So we're going to put a little square of grey on the top of the car and then I'm going to use another piece of white. Now the white might be a little bit soft just as fondant on its own for this piece so you might have to add some tylo so even swap to a modeling paste and we're going to cut out like a little rectangle that sits at the front of our gray square this is going to be our windscreen and then we've just got another little sausage shape that's going to sit at the back of our gray square and then i'm going to put some little lines in with my dresden tool so the pointy end of my dresden tool and this is going to be the back of the car seats and i've got a pink steering wheel so just a semicircle of our leftover pink fondant so we'll just push that behind our windscreen. You don't really see this a lot when the cake's finished. Again, just a little sausage of pink to tidy up the side. Again, just the side of that grey bit and we'll do the same at the other side. And let's use a thinly cut strip of pink to just go around the edge of my window. You could even do this bit in grey actually. I've put a thin piece of pink, can you see at the front of my window as well? And then two tiny pieces of grey for our windscreen wipers. Then let's draw the lines on our car. So we'll start with the car bonnet, then we'll do the car doors, and then let's draw a boot on the back. Now if you just press lightly at first, then if you go wrong, it won't be too obvious. I drew mine slightly lopsided and because I pressed quite hard at first, it was too difficult for me to change it. I'm going to put a semicircle of pink on just on the back of my car boot, and I've got two little circles of pink. I'm just using the balling tool to hollow them out slightly. They're going to go on as our lights. I'm going to create a little pink heart for the front. So let's stick our lights on there. Give them a good press on. I've just used a little bit of water to hold these in place. I'm going to squish a ball of white inside each of these headlights. And I'm going to do the same on the back. Slightly smaller little discs. Although I'll add the colour to the middle of them later. I'm just going to roll 
a little strip or a little snake shape of pink and put it down either side of my car. And then with the gray, I've rolled a little strip and we flattened it out slightly. And I'm just gonna press that onto the bottom of the back of my car. And then some smaller pieces. So again, just little sausage shapes. And they're just gonna go over the car bumper. Just use water to hold them in place. You can see I put quite a lot of water on there, so it's quite shiny at the moment. Hopefully that will dull down when it's dried. And I'm going to repeat the same at the front. And then let's add two little teardrop kind of shapes at the back, just for a bit more detailing on our car boot. And I'm going to cut a little rectangle for a number plate. And you can do the same for the front. I actually forgot to put a number plate on the front. I'll let it dry while I'm just putting some yellow in the back of my um, tail lights. Let's do a smaller little round ball in red, just above our other lights. Okay, I'm going to take a ball of black, cut off two small curves from either end of it, and these are going to be our panda's bodies. So I'm going to push these into the car, them in with a little bit of water to hold them in place. And it's just a little bit of a curved sausage shape for an arm. So I'm going to push that so it sticks to one of the bodies. I've got another one just down the other side. I haven't actually added arms to my other panda, but when it all goes together, you'll see you don't really see inside the arm. So let's just write on our number plate now. And it's just an edible pen that I'm using. And then let's stick a little pink heart in the middle. There we go. Just attach that to the bumper. Put a few more details on just while our bodies are setting. Now our bodies are actually in modeling paste this time. So they're a bit firmer than the fondant that I've been using. A little sausage of pink over my door handle. And then I've cut a ball into two semicircles and we're gonna stick this on for the wing mirrors. Okay, so we've got black now. I am using modeling paste just cause it's a little bit thicker and firmer leave it quite thick and cut out two circles and then I'm going to cut my circles in half and we're going to just try and push them underneath the car if they don't fit just cut a little bit more off your semicircle and then push them under the car then I'm going to do the same in pink it's a little bit thinner this time and that's going to sit on the car above our wheel now I've got two balls of white if you find it easier you can use modeling paste for this bit flatten them slightly so they're still quite big but without the weight if I leave them this big but rounded, they become a little bit heavy and the bodies will sink. So these are gonna be my panda's heads. So we're gonna put two little pieces of black on each one. So teardrop shaped or kind of kidney bean shaped is fine. And then we're gonna put a little piece of white in the middle, kind of an oval shape. Then let's put a line up the middle of the oval shape to create a little nose. We'll do the same on the other one. And then a little oval of black at the top of that line for our nose. Let's put some little eye holes in and I'm going to put some two little white balls in those eye sockets on this one. And I might even do the other one with closed eyes. Let's put a tiny ball of black within the white, like so. So I'm going to put two balls of pink on each one for the cheeks. Give them a good squash down. Because the other one's going to have closed eyes and I've already given it eye sockets. So I'm going to fill out the eye sockets with a ball of black. And then a really nice thin strip of, again, black <laughs> over the top. And this is just so I've got a line that I can paint on in white. Otherwise, we're not going to see the eyelashes on this one. And then a dot of white in each eye on the other one. Now, a little bit of water on the side of the head and under the head. And I'm just going to gently place those together. So these should just balance. They're kind of resting against my car window at the front and balanced onto the bodies. And then I've got two semicircles for each ear. And I've just pushed a ball and tool into the middle of each of those semicircles. Let's give her a little bow. So two triangles of pink. Just press with the Dresden tool in the middle of each of those and a tiny ball in the middle. So for the backdrop for these guys I've got a 12 inch cake board. It's fairly thick but not as thick as a drum and I've drawn myself a template on the back. I'm afraid I don't have a copy of the template guys but it's a square with these little long thin triangles at the side and then I drew where I think I'm going to put some bushes on the sides. My cinema screen I wanted it to say happy valentine's so I just printed off some wording in a word document on some edible paper. Although we're not gonna eat this backdrop anyway, but I still printed it on edible paper and I cut around that with my craft knife. And I think we're just gonna pick some colors. Ooh, now I think I'll probably go for the fuchsia and the turquoisey color. So the pink one, I'm gonna roll it really nice and thin and I'm just gonna put it over my board. You might have to put some piping gel on your board for this to stick, but only put it in the places you want it to stick. And I'm gonna trim around the edges so I don't need the pink to cover the whole thing. Then next I'm going to put my green on and I'm only going to put the piping gel in the middle because I don't want it to stick to these edges. So can you see I'm going to cut off now where these outside kind of triangle bits are because I want the pink to show just past my turquoise jadey colour. 
and then I've still got some green left over from my board so I'm going to cut out some little trees so the first ones are quite thin I've rolled them quite thin and I've just got various different kind of tree and cloud shaped cutters that I'm going to use for this I'm going to go thicker with them as I get closer to the bottom of the board because these are going to help this backdrop stand up if it's not thick at the bottom it will topple over so can you see I've cut all the trees and bushes straight at that very bottom edge and then let's fill in our top bit so I'm going to put a piece of black on just so it's level with the green and where I've drawn that square I've put some piping gel I've cut out my edible print and we're going to stick that on there put a little bit of piping gel around the edge and then I've rolled a nice long piece I've flattened it slightly and we're going to bring this around the edge of our little cinema screen that's what it's meant to be this bit a little outside cinema screen let's cut it off where it meets let's put some little yellow lights around the edge just to fancy it up a little bit there we go so I think that's about done now I actually left that for a few hours to dry before doing the same on the back now really it would have made sense for me to do the back first and then the front second but I did it this way around so if you're doing yours cover the back of it first let that dry then turn it around to the front so this time I'm doing my blue first and then the pink bit second and I will have to cover that little silver bit that's on show at the top let's cover it in black so it matches with the front and I will have to add more bushes to the back as well you can do it now or you can do it when it's in place so I'm going to push that onto there so I put plenty of piping gel and it's important that it's balanced upright so if you need to let that set just rest something can you see against the back of it my little Tylos powder pots ideal the only thing is if your fondant on your board is still soft it will leave a mark on the board and can you see I'm just going to add some more bushes now to the back and they're really thick so that it does hold it upright once it's set now I've got some pale yellow I'm actually using a mix of modeling paste and fondant here and we're going to make a little popcorn box so I've tried to create like a squarish kind of shape with it still being round on the top and then we're putting a thin piece of red all the way around the edge kind of tried to scallop it slightly by pressing in with my dresden tool and then we're just randomly pushing in lines so it looks a bit more like popcorn on the top let's make some small pieces of popcorn and add them in extra so just tiny balls that I've just kind of jabbed with my Dresden tool let's put some on the cake board as well so it looks like it's dropped out and I've decided I'm going to actually add some white stripes to my popcorn box so it looks a bit more like a box of popcorn and less like a tub of french fries so you're going to do this all the way around um, you can see I only did it on two sides because I got a little bit lazy so do do yours all the way around and then let's make a little drink so just plain white this one let's put some indentations in the top it's kind of a cylinder shape a little hole in the top and let's put in two little straws so just two little sausage shapes with the ends cut nice and straight bend them at an angle and then we'll stick those in the top and then we're just going to finish it off with some ribbon now ideally your ribbon wants to be the same thickness as your cake drum I actually couldn't find any in the color I wanted the same thickness so this one's a little bit tall but it will do the job for now I hope you've enjoyed the video guys thanks for watching if you like the video be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below you can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now if you haven't already make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials there are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook Instagram and more